Hey, it's Rachel with Shades of Blue Interiors, and today I'm going to show you how to achieve a whitewashed, weathered oak type finish on just regular old pine from the hardware store. To do this, I'm going to need several supplies that I've lined up here in order of use. First, you're going to need a wire brush, one that has really stiff bristles. Uh, you might want a smaller brush if you have small areas that you need to get in. Rubber gloves, pre-stained conditioner, special walnut oil-based stain, weathered oak oil-based stain, clear zinsser shellac, clear wax, and I'm using Annie Sloan clear wax, but you can use most any brand, just make sure it has the texture of margarine. You don't want like a paste wax or anything. And a, some, you know, obviously don't need this much, but I'm using some very light gray, almost white paint. And this is just regular latex paint, but you could use chalk paint, you could use almost any type of paint. And you're also gonna need a couple of cotton rags and a chip brush. I learned this t technique from Pneumatic Addict, but I thought it, w it was worth showing in this whole process. Um, but she has a really great tutorial on her blog. So what you do is, because pine has like, it's pretty much smooth, but it's soft, we are going to use the wire brush to go with the grain and really scrape on it so that it makes marks in with the grain and the soft areas will go in and it'll give it that texture that looks like visible grain that oak typically has. So I'm going to go ahead and just put some wood conditioner on a rag and coat this whole thing down. Wait about 15 minutes and then we'll do the next step. Okay, so the whole thing has been sitting for maybe 10 minutes. I wasn't quite keeping track. But now I'm ready to stain my base color. Like I said before, I'm gonna use special walnut. So make sure you shake your can really well and stir it before you start applying. So, yeah, flip it over. Shake it. Okay, boom, stained. Takes a while, especially with all these, these legs and stuff the inside. You don't know why. Um, but now we're gonna do the second, hey, we're gonna do the second step. And that is the weathered oak color. So you, same thing, shake it good. Um, by now, you will notice your hands are getting sweaty in the rubber gloves. So, perfect time to take them off, let them dry, and let this dry. You want to let it dry probably two hours, eight hours completely before putting a top coat on, which is what we're essentially going to do with the shellac. Okay, peace. Okay, it's been several hours. The next step is to apply clear shellac. And the reason why we need to do this is because if I were to put the last step, which is the white wax, right on top of this, they're both oil-based. And so they would just kind of get muddied together. They would, they would essentially mix. But I want to seal in this base coat so it's not changed by the white wax, really. And so that's why I'm gonna put the shellac. Just going to get started. Okay, the cool thing about shellac is that it dries really fast. So we can get started with the final step, which is white waxing. So what you need for white waxing is your clear wax and a little bit of white paint. You don't need very much. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the clear wax and you can put it in a bowl, you can put it in a plate. I have a scrap piece of wood, so I'm doing it that way. I like to start with a small amount and then you don't need very much. This is like maybe half a tablespoon to start with and like just a few bits of, of paint, white paint, 
You just want to make, make sure it's really well mixed. And, you, and then you can take a rag and you start rubbing it into the wood. Now it looks like a lot at first and then you take a clean part of the rag and you wipe back. So can you see all those groove marks that were carved in by the wire brush. They're now filled with the white wax and it's very smooth to the touch. And it gives it the look of having open grain like oak does, but it actually doesn't. Okay, I just finished and I love how it turned out. The white wax settled into all of the grooves and the grain and it looks awesome. If you like the desk design that I created and built, uh, be sure to check out my blog for free downloadable build plans under the name Three Compartment Desk. So thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe if you want to watch more of my tutorials. Have a great day.